Now let's get over to the Beko kitchen to see what delicious lamb dish Mark is making. What's on the menu? Right, so we've got a roasted lamb rump. So this is a, a different cut than what we normally do, but I'm going to show you how to roast that perfectly so it's nice and pink in the centre. We've got a nice selection of autumn vegetables, some courgette, some onions and uh, some pumpkin, which we're just going to roast off quickly. We've got a tomato salsa. And we've also got a turmeric couscous as well, so there's a lot going on today. And it does sound a little bit fancy pants, a turmeric couscous, it's very 2018. <laughs> it is. And, and you're going to be very busy today, Brendan. Oh, I can't wait. Brayden. And green peas too. Which and we've got some green peas. Excellent. I am looking forward to that. It's Brayden, and thank you for getting that right the second time. <laughs> Marty, thank you. Also, we're looking forward to trying this a little bit later on. Now, it's time to get this lamb romp with veggies and turmeric couscous started in the Beko kitchen, Mark. So what do we need to do first? Right, so we've got our lamb, so we're going to get our lamb on first. So it's a nice chunky piece of meat. It's got a nice fat cup on, which is great because fat is flavour. Mm -hmm. But what we want to do is get it in the pan first and we're going to sort of render some of that fat out. Alright, so I'm just going to lightly score the fat, so you can just crisscross it around. Yep. So rendering is essentially with, with cooking well, it. Yeah, well we're taking some of the fat out. Right. Not all of it. Just a pinch of salt there, just I see. Just a little bit. No, a little bit of salt, because <laughs> as we cook, the salt's going to go. Alright, so you can pop it in there. You can pop a little bit of oil in there, but you don't need a lot, because we're going to render. Yeah. And just keep this over sort of a medium-high heat. Keep an eye on that. You can give that another season on the, uh, the meat side. Right, so just salt and pepper here. Yeah, a little bit of salt and pepper. Right, and then in this pan, a little bit of oil, and then we're going to start roasting our vegetables. So I've got pumpkin here, which I've just peeled and just roughly diced. That's right. So, i will get that a little bit hotter. And then we're going to start off with the pumpkin. I've got some garlic, which we're just going to slice as well. That's going to go in a little bit later. A little bit of red onion. Why are you using red onion rather than, say, a brown, uh, you know, your stock standard? Uh, just a little bit, a little bit sweeter, a little bit less sort of sharp. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be sort of lightly roasted. It's going to be in a salad. You know, we still have that crunch. Yeah. Uh, it's just a bit nicer. I mean, you could use a brown one if you got, if that's yeah. what you've got. That's not, you know, not a problem with that. I'm going to put a little bit of thyme in here as well, just to help flavour. Right. All right. Can have a little bit of salt in there as well. So it's always a good cool. idea just season as we're going along, just little bits. I'm going to put the put the onion in now. And then just break that up as you're going down. And keep this on a, a, just a medium heat, you know, we can get a little bit of colour on that and we'll just sort of toss in. Just want to soften it, you know, the pumpkin is a hard vegetable, mm. but it doesn't take that long to cook. Right, let's have a look at our um, lamb. So what are we looking for with this lamb? So we're starting to sort of render down, you can see that all that extra fat in there, that's yep. the fat coming out of the uh, fat cap. And we're starting to get a nice um, colour on there. So we'll get it nice and golden brown, we'll flip it over and we'll roast it in the oven and then that's what's going to taste. It's going to be like a roast lamb dinner. Fantastic. It's posh couscous. I take back the couscous <laughs> statement now that you've started that lamb going because I tell you what, it is, I'm salivating just a little bit. <laughs> right, a little bit of garlic goes in there as well and then I've got a bit of courgette which I'm just going to chop up and then when the vegetables are nearly ready we'll pop the courgette in because that won't take that long. To and it can go a bit slimy and sort of yucky right Yeah, exactly. go too yeah. early on that one. Yeah. Great. So that's all ready to go. And then in here, I've got some um, chicken stock. We've got our turmeric in there. Great. And then I'm just going to whisk that up. We're going to bring that to the boil, and then we're going to make our couscous in the second part. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that, actually, now. I, I do backtrack on that. You'll show us how to make <laughs> the tastiest couscous to go with our lamb. And of course, we'll find out how it all goes together. And Mike's on his holidays for a few more weeks, so I'm getting to do some cooking with one of the best chefs in the country, even if he can't always remember my name. So it's a dream job for you this week, Mark. You're it making is. some couscous to go with our lamb. Yep, yep, posh couscous. But we'll just have a look at these vegetables now. So we've got a little bit of colour. You can see the pumpkins sort of cooking now because the edges are sort of starting to get soft. Yep. Good time now to put your courgette in. Great. That'll take about another minute or two minutes. Uh, don't overcook the courgettes, as we said before. So that is nearly ready to go. Let's check our lamb. So it's just been rendering down. Ooh. So look at that, nice bit of colour there. And you can yep. smell that, you know, you've got that you roasted can. sort of lamb flavour. So what I'm going to do now, another couple of minutes, just seal in all the other sides of the meat, get that nice and brown. Yep. And then I've got a little bit of harissa paste, not paste, um, powder. powder. And I'm just going to pop that on there. Just give it some extra flavour. What is the what is the flavour of harissa if we're not? Oh, so you've got you've got cumin in there, you've got chilli in there. Right. Uh, loads of flavours like that: garlic, red pepper. Right. So it's really nice, like very sort of Moroccan flavours. Mm -hmm. You know, which we've got. We've got turmeric in there. We've got the vegetables, and then Israeli couscous. 
So again, I do a bit of a 180 because I thought you just meant that packet, that sort of dry <laughs> couscous that's... You don't that, like that, that, do you? Uh, wipe your tongue after you've eaten it. <laughs> that's okay though. Oh, you, like, you like this yeah. one, don't you? No, I'm good with that. A bit of lemon juice in there as well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, a little bit of lemon juice, and you can put, pop a little bit of salt in there as well. Yep. Um, and then we'll bring that up to the boil. We'll simmer it for about 10 minutes, and then that should all be absorbed nice and soft. And then we've got some chickpeas we can fold through some uh, normal peas. Yes, we're we'll going against peas the grain now. on that one. I know, I know. Yeah, not too bad in cellars. Just don't put it anywhere in this bag bowl <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, you know, we've got our roasted vegetables here, and then we're just going to have a little salsa, which we're going to do now. Great. So cherry tomatoes, you know, just cut them in half, nice and rustic. Um, just going to put a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and lots of herbs as well. Is that so sort of a balancing thing? Because I guess the salsa is usually quite fresh, and we've got the lamb, and we've got you know some spices and stuff going on. Yeah, there, yeah, exactly. You know, we've got, we've got lots of big flavours in there, mm. so this will help just like um, you know clean your palate, freshen your palate up with all those herbs. You know, the lamb, we've got the fat in there as well, a nice bit of meat, and obviously yep. the, the the full flavour of the couscous. So it just, yeah, just gives you different textures and different temperatures as yeah. well, you know, makes it nice and interesting. Do we need to keep an eye on these courgettes yep. or...? Yeah, no, that's good. I'm going to turn that off now, you cool. know, so they're still nice and green. There's a little bit of colour on there. Yep. Got some oregano here, a little bit of basil. You know, you can pop some mint in there as well. Right. We've also got some feta cheese as well, which we'll Delicious. just leave to the end and crumble over. Excellent. Well, the, the smells here and the, the look of all of this is actually delicious and I cannot wait to try it so I'm very much looking forward to this. You can see the full recipe plus the ingredients on our website and we've got heaps more to share with you this morning. We'll have a chance to win the ultimate DIY Father's Day prize and we'll tell you how to do that right after we check in with Holly. Mark, how's the lamb turned out? Look at that, so it's been resting for about five minutes and then we just slice it nice and pink Ooh, and juicy. Juice. That goes on top, we've got the feta there, the tomatoes, a little bit of fresh mint and there you go. Beautiful My mouth is dinner actually tonight. watering. Not bad for a bit of sheep and some fancy couscous. I like that. <laughs> what are you yeah. cooking tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got something spicy on the menu.